Alright, welcome to Module 2. I'm going to walk you through installing Prosper 202 on your server step by step. Alright, it's a pretty straightforward install. We should have you up and running in less than 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, some minimum requirements. You're going to need a dedicated domain or a subdomain added to one of your existing domains. And the reason is this software needs to run in the root of the server. Alright, you can't run this in the subfolder. It's got to run in the root of the server. Highly recommend the, ded the dedicated domain. That way you have one domain for all of your marketing needs and it's designed solely for tracking your ads. All right, The root of your server is the public underscore HTML folder. All right, If you're doing 5,000 clicks a day or less, you're going to need PHP version 4.3 or higher, MySQL version 4.0 or higher, and the mod rewrite Apache module. All right? Almost every hosting service is going to have this. This is really some minimal requirements and uh, it shouldn't be a problem. If you're unsure, you can go to the, your host provider's website and look, or you can simply ask them, hey, do you guys run this on your servers? If you're running more than 5,000 clicks a day, all right, you're going to need MySQL version 5.1 or higher. Now, I would suggest that you go ahead and run 5.1 or higher from the get-go. You know, Worst case, you ask your host provider to go ahead and install it on your server from the start, right? That way, not if, but when you start doing mass volume, at least you got that portion already covered. Now, as you start getting to some serious volume, you're going to want to move over to a dedicated server, all right? So if you're already a super affiliate, you're already doing massive volume, you want to, to go ahead and run a dedicated server. Now, the guys over at Prosper will help you get it set up and tweaked out properly for massive volume. All right. They're really good. They got a great active forum and they're active with their software. They really are. It's it's a great setup. All right, there's four steps to the install. Let's go ahead and knock this out. So step one is to create a database on the host server. All right, create a database user and add that database user to the newly created database. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You log into your cPanel and you go to my SQL databases. Alright, we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to create a new database. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to call mine Setup, but I highly suggest you use something that, that describes what you're doing that you understand, so you know what it is, right? Something like um, ad tracking, ad tracks, something along those lines, something that's descriptive. Let's go ahead and create that database. Now, we need to create a user for that database. I'm going to keep mine real simple. I'm going to call it Test1, but again, you're going to want to use something descriptive you know, something like uh, Tracker1, something along those lines. And for your password, you want it to be as secure as possible. You want to use uh, uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. And you want to move your, your numbers and special characters inside the password, not on the outside of the password. And I'll just type something up here real quick. Let me see. Test, T-R, at, C, K, bang, N, G. Test tracking. All right. If you'll notice, I have upper and lower case, I got special characters and numbers, and I have them inside my password. That's a pretty secure password right there. You might want to make it a little longer. And the goal here is to, you know, make it difficult for somebody to get in and get your data, you know. So let's go ahead and create this user. I'm going to go ahead and um, make mine test for the password for the, to keep it simple so we can get this video moving along. Let's create that user. And now we got to add that user to the database. So we come up to user, we're looking for test one. Come up to database, we're looking for setup, and we add user to database. And that's it. Our database is set up. Pretty simple. Now, right now we're going to go ahead and copy our database name. We're going to need this for the next step. So you left click and scroll over, highlight it, and then right click and hit copy. All right, so we're going to modify our 202-config-sample.php file. All right, and once we get done modifying it, we're going to rename that file to 202-config.php. Do that right now. Here's our config sample file, and you're going to want it to highlight it and then right click and open with. You're going to want to open with Notepad or whatever your text editor of choice is, right? This is a, you want to open it up as a text file. We hit OK and we come on in. Now, it says database name, the name of your database. We're going to go in here and again and left click, highlight. This time we're going to right click and hit paste. And there's our database name. 
Now we're going to go ahead and go back and grab our our username. Right, highlight, right click, copy. Come in here, highlight again, right click and paste. And now we type in our password. Kept mine simple. Now you're going to want to write down your database name, your username, and your password. And you want to have to keep that in a safe place. Now I included a sheet in your downloads where you can go ahead and get your server set up, get your database set up, and have all that information in one place. Put it in a folder, put it somewhere safe. So not if, but when you go back to it later and you don't remember the username and password in the database and all that stuff, you have all the information you need. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save this. All right. Modified. Now we need to go ahead and rename. Oops. You need to go ahead and rename, and what you can do is you can highlight it, you can right click on it, you can highlight it, right click on it, <laughs> and hit rename. Alright, and you're going to want to click in that box, because when it's blue like that, if you hit it, anything, it will kill the name. We just want to get rid of the dash sample. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to go into step three. We want FTP all our files and folders to the server. Make sure the transfer type is binary. If you don't change the transfer type of your FTP client to binary, you're going to get a byte error in step four when we go to set up a uh, username and password, right, and log in. So if you end up getting a byte error on step four, you want to come back to the FTP, set your transfer type to binary, and re-upload your files and folders to the server. Okay, so let's go ahead. and upload this stuff now. So what you're going to want to do is, let me see, yeah, you're going to want to oops, click on the top one, hit shift, hold the shift key down, and click on the bottom to highlight it all, and simply drag it over. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. It's going to take a few minutes to upload all this stuff, and when it gets done, We'll come on right back. I'll see you in a minute. All right, everything's uploaded. All right, and I loaded everything into a subdomain on one of my existing domains, and I did that so I can show you a nice clean install. All right. So the last step is we're gonna browse to our domain. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick account setup, which means adding an email address, setting the time zone, and creating a username and password and that will get installed when we hit the button and it will install and then we're going to log in and we'll be ready to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so we're in the system, welcome site, and it shows what your system config is. I have a, a little bit of an older version of my SQL. I'm going to see if I can get these guys to, to go ahead and fix that. And we come right down here and create your account. So you add an email address in. Set your time zone. A username. Use tracker1. Password. Alright, and install Prosper. <clears throat> Alright, so we're all installed. All that's left now is to go ahead and log in. And there you have it. Let me move this over just a little bit. Oops. So you can see it a little better. Alright, and you click on the Tracking 202 link. and we're all installed. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope you can get yours installed very quickly and uh, the next video we're going to do a initial setup and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.